How important is it to test hormone levels? And I think we're talking about, you know, the estrogens, the uh, testosterones, things like that. How important is it to test? And what do those tests determine if, you know, you don't get tested until you're 40 years old? Mm -hmm. How do you know what's normal for, for that person? Right. Well, when you test a patient, it depends on who you ask. Some people argue that everyone should be tested as early as you know, possible, mm -hmm. especially in women, because hormonally speaking, things start to trend southward at the age of 25, technically. And so you know, it really depends on, on why you're testing them. So if you have a patient who comes to see you and they have specific issues, is it mandatory to test all of their hormones? Not necessarily, but it's important in so much as all of the hormones are interconnected and interrelated. So for instance, a menopausal woman has a higher risk of having low cortisol. That, that, there's, a, there's an association there. A woman is more likely to have cortisol abnormalities than is a man. And male hormones and female hormones affect cortisol hormones. So there's a broad interrelationships there which make testing of all of the hormones important if you're going to test for any of them. Even thyroid, a lot of people come and they want to have their thyroid hormone tested because they're convinced there's a problem there. Well, no hormone functions independently. So you really need to assess all of them to get a good idea of what's going on because sometimes someone's thyroid hormone isn't working because of another hormonal imbalance. So I test patients uh, as young as 14, but I do internal medicine, I don't do pediatrics, but in our society and because of the stressors and, and the environmental exposures to estrogens, stress hormone problems are not age specific anymore, or sex hormone problems. Lots of patients, um, and, and females in particular, have issues with estrogen progesterone early on. So I don't think there's a, a particular best time. I think it really depends on the patient and what they're coming to see you for and what their symptoms are. But uh, I don't think you can test only one hormone. So if you're going to test a hormone, you really need to test all of them.